everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and I am making a layout for Hip Kit Club today. Um, I'm using the October kits still. Um, I have the main kit to play with, the um, pocket life kit, the embellishment kit and the colour kit. Um, and uh, my assignment today was to um, work on... Um, the uh, was to, for mixed media Monday, so it was to focus on the color kit. Um, so um, that's what I'm doing. I'm using um, two, one or and two of the colors from the color kit, and I'm also using the white die cuts too. Um, so I have a white background. I've used a marshmallow piece of cardstock, um, and uh, what I'm doing right now is I just um, wanted to mix together some colors. So um, I want to use the gold one as it is, but the pink one is a bit too pink. So I wanted to mix that with the gold um, to make an orange color. So, because I have lots of pumpkins and things um, on this layer, and I was looking for an orange. Um, so, I, I made one, and it's actually come out really well. So, I tested the bit of the cardstock underneath where my um, photo would go, um, and I used that colour that I've mixed to uh, apply to the background. So, I've used the packaging technique um, just to add that. Um, and now I'm coming in with the gold, and that's just the straight colour out of the bottle. It's um, not mixed or anything. It's literally just um, uh, straight out of the bottle. You picked up my paintbrush, picked up some colour, sorry, and put it onto my um, piece of packaging, and then I've turned it upside down. Um, I had a big drip at the bottom there, and that's fine. It's in the right area, so it's not like it's miles away. Um, so you can see that I've just created the background there, and uh, I'm just adding lots of splatters around the edges. Um, so I'm adding them over the top of the colours I've already done and I'm going around the outside as well. Um, and then I'm using up what um, I've got left on my craft sheet um, to colour in the white die cuts. Um, so um, the paint um, is the Lindy spray so because it's a spray it's already quite um, wet and quite runny um, and um, I thought um, it would be ideal to pick up colour which it absolutely is. Um, so you can see that they those, one, those leaves just absorb that, that colour really beautifully. Um, for the pumpkin, I'm, I want to, I've used the purple as well, a little bit of the tiny, tiniest bit of the purple there. I wanted them to have different colours on them, um, so I do add a bit of extra colour with my paintbrush where I need to, and I added some splatters there on that one as well. So I've done three leaves, um, I've also done the big pumpkin, and then I do the two little acorns as well. Um, and then I'm just leaving those on another craft sheet, just setting aside to dry. Um, now I also do this cute little fox, but unfortunately he doesn't get used on the layout, but he's ready to go uh, for another layout, so <laughs> he's very cute, or she's very cute, um, so uh, yeah. But Anyway, so they're just going to be set aside to dry now, as well as my um, layout itself. Um, so actually, I do spend a little bit of time, um, even though my layout is wet, um, working out what I'm going to do with this layout. Um, and uh, I do lay a few bits on top and then regret it because then I get paint everywhere and I'm literally, by the end of this layout, I was literally covered. My hands were orange. <laughs> Um, the Lindy's spray just kind of gets everywhere. I don't know how because I didn't get any on my fingers as far as I was aware, um, but clearly I did because I was absolutely covered in them. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I've just punched a few circles out of different pattern papers I wanted to use. Um, I'm still completely in love with the plaid pattern that's in this month's um, kit. It's the most beautiful pattern ever. Um, I completely, completely love it. Um, so I've hardly got anything left um, so I've just punched a few circles from that. I've also fussy cut a load of frames from one of the Paige Evans paper. I did that for a different layout and then didn't use them um, so I had those pre-cut already so I've just pulled out the uh, orangey ones and the yellow ones, goldy colours, that kind of thing um, and I'm going to use them as layers on my layout. Um, so you can see that I'm just kind of figuring out where things are going to go, um, what die cuts I can use, what acetate pieces I can use. Um, the big pumpkin white die cut definitely needs backing on white paper or card, um, not necessarily white but you know it, for my layout it needed something behind it so that it could be um, moved around and used as um, an embellishment. Also I had some other pumpkins, uh, acetate pumpkins that um, needed to as well because obviously being acetate you can see through them so I could see other layers. It's harder to layer see through embellishments on top of other things because you can see through them. So um, on this occasion I have um, mounted those onto some white cardstock um, just to give them a little bit more flexibility. So I so say you can see that I'm piling bits on, um, working out roughly what my layout is going to look like. Um, and say so this, this is the point that I regret it because everything's under and then I get completely covered. 
exactly so. <laughs> um, I'm going to um, mount my photo on one of the uh, Pocket Life cards, um, distress the edges, and that's the only paper layer that goes onto this layout apart from the punched pieces um, and the frames. Um, and um, I'm planning to also use that, uh, this is a few minutes, this is a little bit later now and uh, everything's dry so I can now start actually sticking th things down. I had to walk away from my desk because I was kept like making the layout but it was all still wet so, <laughs> so I had to walk away. Um, so anyway now I'm going to um, distress the edges of all of my circles um, and start getting things stuck down. So uh, my title is going to be Loving October and um, the word October has come from a journaling card and I'm going to fussy cut out each letter. Um, those acorns they were the white die cuts and they um, unfortunately they kind of uh, don't have any definition because they're because they're just outlines they're just white die cuts they have got no definition to them so therefore it's hard to um, necessarily tell that they're acorns um, where, especially if other things are layered on top of them um, and you can't see the whole thing the whole shape um, so I have just drawn in the detail with a black uh, sorry grey journaling pen um, just did the top of the acorn and did some dots and then drew a line around the bottom of the acorn as well so they have a bit more uh, definition and you can tell that they are acorns now which is great um, okay so still just going um, basically I didn't want to move the entire layout off um, so I am sticking bit by bit uh, where I can so pulling out circles distressing them adding them back in adding some tape sticking them in um, tucking lots of bits behind um, other things um, and uh, nothing else nothing um, basically I'm trying to stick I'm sticking a amount of tape uh, behind um, each of the circles and the leaves and things and normally I would raise things up on foam pads but I haven't done on this occasion um, I will add foam pads like behind the leaves and I will make the pumpkin stand up and things but at this point um, there's no foam pads in place whatsoever they're just tacked in place really with some tape uh, because I was all hung up on the fact that I didn't want to move my whole layout off of my background um, so I just had to do basically had to just do my best um, in terms of sticking everything down um, okay so moving on to my uh, October so loving is one of the die cut phrases that was in one of the pretty little studio uh, ephemera packs so I might not have been it might have been an exclusive um, and uh, then I am using the word October which is from a journaling card from the pocket life kit so every month um, there's a pocket life kit and uh, every month there is a 6x4 journaling card that has the month written on it and uh, I quite often don't end up using them um, but or I might fussy cut out some other elements or use them as a uh, paper layer but uh, on this occasion the word October was the right colour and it, I just loved it, it was really pretty um, so um, I had to get that in somewhere so I've gone for Loving October as my title um, and it's really pretty with that leaf spray or flower spray on the on the O um, and, uh, and then I found another journaling card later that had a similar thing and I fussy cut that out and I did that too um, so just going through adding some puffy stickers um, basically going through the whole of my kit uh, what's left of it um, I've done seven layouts I think with this kit now um, so I'm running low on things to use um, so I did my best um, and uh, that's why I haven't used much paper because I don't have much I don't have much left um, but uh, I went through the chipboard I went through the acetate uh, bits I've got no vellum leaves left whatsoever um, and uh, just kept adding and adding wherever I could and uh, there's my acetate leaves there's that journaling card that I mentioned earlier it's so pretty what a beautiful little wreath that is um, so I fussy cut out both of those pieces the top and the bottom piece and used both of those um, and uh, I just thought I would use some of the words from the um, puffy phrase stickers um, so I've got in there cozy warm and love I'm using them as embellishments rather than titles um, and uh, they're just um, they've just great October words aren't they so um, I thought I would um, get those stuck in place um, just adding that little um, flower spray there it's actually a little teeny tiny pumpkin um, it gave me some issues because I had to move a load of other bits over it didn't quite fit and then I ended up putting it miles over on the other side anyway so uh, <laughs> so I probably didn't need to move around all those things that I thought I needed to move around um, but, <laughs> but yeah that's what you do isn't it um, so uh, coming in with my acetate leaves so um, I was trying not to bring in too much pink or purple I have got a small amount, uh, I've got like the purple page Evan paper punched with circles, purple or lilac or apple, um, and, uh, but the hot pink and the hot purple from the acetate leaves, I thought, ooh, I don't know if I really want to include that, but actually when I put it in, 
it really made things pop out um, and uh, I really love how it looks so I'm glad that I um, didn't shy away from using those colours um, and did get them in place. So just adding some twiddles of gold thread now, um, just literally adding them one behind the pumpkin. Um, I've left a little, one of those labels or frames from the Paige Evans paper, I've left a little area above the pumpkin so that I can write some journaling on there. Um, and uh, yeah, so now just, um, I wanted some enamel dots and at this moment in time I couldn't find them. So we had enamel dots, didn't we, in this kit, but I really, really could not find them. They were, well actually, they were in my kit bag, but they were sandwiched in between um, a couple of sheets of paper and I'd missed them. Um, so I improvised at this point and used um, the golden uh, full stops from, um, from the gold letters. Um, but I had to, I turned off the camera and actually went searching for these enamel dots because it was driving me mad that I couldn't find them and I didn't have enough of the gold ones either. Um, so um, I found them now um, and uh, just going in and adding some more of those in. So using up all of the softer colours, so no, none of the black ones. Um, uh, so I've used the kind of Cajun coloured ones and... Um, the uh, mustard coloured, uh, that kind of those kind of colours. So the softer ones. I'm adding those in. I'm just going to come round and add a few more splatters now. Um, I also added some twiddles through my uh, charms that I had on my way out as well. Um, okay, and um, I'm just adding in that last little bit of journaling there on that label, and then that is my layout done. Um, so thank you very much for um, joining me today. That's Nikki Rowan for Mixed Media Monday. Um, so use the October kits. They're so gorgeous. Head over to the Hip Kit Club website to pick some up for yourself. Um, okay, thank you so much, Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club. Bye!